Good morning and welcome. Temperatures in Fayetteville have cooled off just a bit. Still in the 50s, low for, in the high 40s. But um, today I decided to make a, I guess I'll call it a chicken and vegetable lasagna roll up. And I took some pulled chicken and some vegetables, asparagus, peppers, uh, scallions, and stuffed them into a, a pasta sheet and rolled them up and baked them with some creamy chicken gravy and it came out fabulous. Recipes on the website and videos right here. Watch and don't drool on your computer and enjoy. To make our roll-ups today, we're gonna to start by making the filling. We're gonna heat some oil in a skillet and we're gonna add our vegetables, asparagus, peppers, chives, uh, scallions, and we're gonna add a little granulated onion and some granulated garlic. Some salt, pepper, and basil. And we're gonna stir that around until the vegetables are softened and we're gonna add our cooked pulled chicken. These were the meat of two chicken breasts that I pulled. And just as a binder, we're gonna add some cream cheese. I did about three tablespoons of cream cheese and a spoonful of gravy. And we're gonna stir that all up to blend it and incorporate it and bring it together. And now we're gonna make the gravy. And I happen to have some fat and broth from chicken that I cooked on hand, so I'm using that, but you can use butter and heat that till it's bubbly. And then we're gonna add some flour, a sprinkle of flour. We're gonna make a fairly thick roux for this one because we want a substantial creamy gravy for our sauce. And we're gonna stir that until it's smooth. You don't want any flour lumps in there. You can use a whisk if you prefer, but as long as you keep stirring it, you really don't need one. And then we're gonna add our chicken stock from a jar or a carton or fresh and some nutmeg and some half and half and we're going to keep stirring that to incorporate it and blend it until it's nice and creamy. How beautiful is that? And there's our gravy. So now we're going to cook the pasta and I had some leftover lasagna sheets from way back when, when we made the seafood lasagna so I salted some water and brought it to a boil and we're gonna throw these pasta sheets in, lasagna sheets, one sheet at a time to keep them from sticking together and cook it according to the package directions. And then we're gonna remove it and put it on a baking sheet. We're gonna rub it down with a little bit of olive oil to keep it from getting sticky and that's on both sides. And we're just going to lay those flat out on the sheet. We're going to continue doing this with each sheet until all the sheets are cooked. I had six. So that's how many roll-ups we made. And in the meantime, we're going to spray a baking pan with Pam and heat the oven to 350 degrees. And we're going to take a half cup of our filling and place it onto each lasagna sheet and then we're going to squish them down so it goes out to the sides. You can leave the ends open a little bit because it makes it easier to roll. So after that we're going to roll them up after this first one I took my gloves off because they're easy to work with. I hate gloves and so you have a nice little roll there. And now we're going to take a baking pan and spray it with Pam and we're going to spread the gravy in the bottom of the pan in a thin layer. You want to make sure the whole bottom of the pan... Oh, and there's Kelly. Someone must be walking a dog by. And we're going to spread it out edge to edge to make sure everything is fully covered. Oh yeah, and we're going to place the lasagna rolls in the pan, there 
Okay, pipe down, girlfriend. And then we're going to cover the roll-ups with more gravy or sauce, whatever you'd like to call this, but uh, it really resembles gravy, so that's what I'm calling it. And you want to cover that right up. Now we're going to throw it in the oven for about 20 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. You could put cheese over top of that if you wanted to, but there's already cheese in it, so I didn't do that. And you want to take the rolls and serve them on a pretty plate. And cut them open so you can see what they look like on the inside. And they are beautiful and delicious.